Although Genshin Impact focuses on its single-player narrative, past a certain point, you may find that exploring and questing by yourself is a little bit tedious. Luckily enough, when that point arrives, you'll unlock the ability to invite your friends into your game. If you want to get your friends into your game, here's what you can do. In-game, you'll need to level up your adventure rank to AR-16 in order to unlock co-op mode. The fastest way to level up your adventure rank in Genshin Impact is to focus on the main quest until you hit adventure rank 7, while exploring, finding chests, and activating waypoints along the way. Once you hit level 7, you'll receive your adventure handbook from Catherine in front of the Adventurer's Guild in Mondstadt. From here, you can do chapter reward tasks and hunt enemies alongside quests and side quests to reach level 8 when you can unlock ley lines. When you hit adventure rank 12, you unlock daily commissions, which offer a decent adventure experience per task with a generous bonus reward for completing them all. Between your daily commissions, quests, ley lines, and chapter rewards, you'll be racing through the ranks in no time. Right after you hit AR-16, the game will let you know that the mode is unlocked. To start, you'll need to add friends and get friends to add you in the game via your UID number. This can be found in the game menu underneath your character icon. Once you've got your friends' UID numbers, open your game menu and select co-op mode. From here, you'll see a list of currently active players. You can search for your friends using the search bar in the co-op menu. If they're currently online, you can simply request to join their world. It should be noted that while playing in another player's world as a guest in co-op mode, you won't be able to claim Animoculus or Geoculus that you've encountered, or open any chests. You can still get minerals, EXP, and drops from the enemies. Also, your party and character choices will be divided between the players present. So if you're playing with just one player, you both can switch between two characters on the fly. When three people are in the game, only the host may do so. And if there are four players, you're all restricted to one single character. You can switch your characters out of combat via the party menu. If you like this guide, make sure you subscribe for all sorts of videos covering Genshin Impact and other technology. And don't forget to check out one of these videos we think you might enjoy.